What do we have here? We have the Terminator T-1000. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it's called. It doesn't say that anywhere. Um, it just says China. That's all it says. Uh, somebody, some people, you know, will call these things Chinese knives or China knives. And you might wonder, well, why do they call them that? Well, it's because they're from China. That's why. It's got an interesting uh, flipper happening here. Uh, I don't know what the, I don't know what that's jimping for. I mean, I guess you could kind of, let's see. Nope. Can't really, okay. Yeah, if you go there, you can kind of press it. Nope, you can't really, no. I thought maybe you could do that. Let's see, can you reverse flick it? Yeah. And this is a assisted opening. That just means there's a spring. Now, there's no spring from, okay, let's start here. Start from open. If I open this hard to get to lock here. Now there's no spring. This is just like gravity, right? But as soon as it hits here, now there's a spring. See the bounce there? You gotta fight that spring to close it. It goes in past like the cam point of that uh, uh, spring. And then now when you just kind of just give it like a little push, boom, she pops open. Or with a flipper, boom. Very nice, weirdly shaped blade. Uh, starts with sort of a regular curve and then ends up with a uh, reverse curve, whatever you want to call that. And then very pointy on the end, kind of a hawk bill. I don't know what the hell you call that. This jimping, I'm not sure what it's for. You can't really... Yeah, that'd be dangerous if it was sharp, which it's kind of sharp. Sharp-ish. Let's see. You can, if you press really hard, urgh, you can kind of get it to shave a little bit. So, I don't think it would cut paper very well. Terminator graphic is amazing, though. Pretty sweet. Um, so, you can find these at various retailers, usually retailers of petroleum products. Um... So grab you one of these Terminator T-1000s and uh, don't blame it on me if it sucks. Have a nice day.